Good morning. We are so happy that you're here. You did it. I should be back. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. You did it. Wow. wow. You did it. Um, we are starting our morning out just with a little bit of coloring. Peter just went to the gym. Good morning, Teddy. You got your Lion King jammies on. Today, I am going back to therapy. We are going back downtown. We are sticking to the new routine. And today is a Tuesday with fun. So we're gonna have leftovers and we're gonna get out of the house. Um, and so yeah, even just knowing that gives me a little extra pep in my step. We have our Christmas playlist on if you're interested in listening to it and you listen to Spotify. Um, everything James says now is it's a dog or it's a pig or but it's not like always the right thing. But wow, it's a pig <laughs> and it's like a marker. Um, but still his enthusiasm is just the best. But what was I saying? Oh, if you listen to Spotify, it's called Brookhart Christmas, and it's all of the music from our favorite Christmas movies, and then some of our favorite artists like Leslie Odom Jr., Frank Sinatra, um, Johnny Mathis, who is my grandma's favorite, so that just like gives me the feels. Oh, oh, all the toys are off the table. <laughs> It's warm in Chicago today, so a lot of people are running outside. Sarah was like, hey, are you gonna do that? I was like, Sarah, it is 10 degrees below where my tears will freeze on my face from crying. I'm going to the gym. So, gonna toss five miles on the legs, have a good day at work, I think we're doing some cold Christmas fun. Not as frigid cold as it has been, not as frigid cold as it's going to be next week, later this week, but you know when the high is 28 and the winter is 22, I guess in Chicago that means you celebrate it. We haven't shown these much. We only have a few days left, but I want to show you the excitement. Hey, James. <gasps> you want to do your advent calendar? Let's do it. Gotta go straight to the couch. Oh, is it? Okay. 20. Oh, okay. Open, please. Oh. Ah. What kind of truck? Wow. Wow. Beep, beep. <gasps> what? Yeah, let's do Teddy's. I should be. Yeah, we'll do Teddy's. Ah, uh, pee. All right, number 20. Oh, it's a dog, I think. Yep, all righty. More tomorrow. Even after 20 days, it's still kind of hard for Jamesy to understand that we just open one a day. So we say, okay, bye-bye until tomorrow. But we gotta, we gotta teach patience, right? He's joining me. He just joined me for one of like uh, our last like year end meeting with our SVP of the part of the division of the company I work for. So that was fun. And then I had some meetings this morning with people who are going to be like out the rest of the basically year and definitely um, the rest of this week. Time's ticking. I'm going to be in for the rest of the week for work, but a lot of people, a lot of my teammates, a lot of my coworkers and and business partners are out. Sarah's putting James on for a nap, so Teddy's hanging out with me. And we just put on The Bishop's Wife, which I think I've only watched once, and not even fully, this season. And it's one of my favorites. Classic, classic. Um, darn, what's this guy's name? It's so funny watching him in this versus 
Arshina going to lace because the characters are just so opposite. It's like he's an angel in one and he's such a, a silly guy in the other. What are you doing? You ready to go to a German market tonight? See a big Christmas tree? All right, we're going over to Chris Kindle Market in the loop, probably the last time because I think it ends <laughs> on Friday. What are you, this is a fake cough. To get us into the spirit, we're gonna watch some Olaf's Frozen Adventure. <laughs> Make sure all that's off. <laughs> we can jam. <laughs> Got the hot mold wine. The secret benefit to start taking not only taking my wallet but also using the cash in the candy store she was in instead of card is that she was the last of the cash and then she left me alone while she went into the ornament shop and I've never seen, because we're right at close, it's closed actually right now, all these food booths have nobody in front of them. And I would have walked up and I would have gotten, all right, give me that bratwurst, sauerkraut, give me that pretzel, give me the, run over here, grab the potato pancakes, run over there, grab the schnitzel, boil up the furry, it would have been, give me one of everything in all these booths. So, good thing, good thing. Let's go, we prepared to go out of this, then we're gonna go see Christmas tree. Kinder Market at the Loop. Yeah, so. It's traditionally the Chris Kinder Market and Christmas Eve, but Wrigley's just going rogue apparently, and they're going until, until like January 8th or 9th. Oh, really? I thought it was New Year's Eve. Maybe they're just like taking a little break, but I don't know. They are doing, they're, they're going they're longer. They're So we'll probably yeah. get more reclats at Wrigley's Chris Kinder uh -huh. Market, but the rest of the night we have to stop in Prime Market, pick up some stuff. Yeah, and, and then, then we're gonna go see the tree. The, the Chicago City tree. Guys, we were in Disney World for all of our favorite Christmas traditions. The tree lighting. The parade. The, the parade. The opening of the Chris Kino Market. Um, we planned our trip. We didn't realize it, but we, we, had, we, a made it. we, we had a great trip. We had a great trip. Yeah, and we had a great trip. So, so I'm not gonna show you what we got, but we, oh my gosh, their lounge right here is so amazing. And their home decor, look at all this stitch. This is Mandalorian and Star Wars. Okay, and this Mickey and Minnie stuff. It's like pastel-y colors. And then these like organizational bins. And Harry Potter stuff. Wow. And then we have so much Christmas stuff too. Like look at the quilt. Look at this. This is a pillow. Um, This is a Mickey head rug, Peter. That's nice. Um, hello. <laughs> what are you doing? You with your dad? So many blankets. Hedwig. Oi, it's so loud. It's the sounds of the city. Well, I think with that we're done Christmas shopping. Really? We. This was our best year yet. We just have to wrap. 
um and also our family christmas party is in like the middle of january so we still have a like fun stuff to do for that one but the pittsfield apartments are leasing three bedrooms Ooh. We go to the pittsfield cafe every day. if you're interested call those people do you remember when we came here before? And when Phil came here on Somebody Feed Phil? Well, it's funny because like when he, when Phil came here, I don't even know if he said the name. <laughs> no, he just was like, this is a cool, like this is a cool. No, he did say the name. He just didn't show his food. But it's the, which is which like you would think means it wasn't good, but it's What is this best. happening? <laughs> I think it was more about the experience and the guy he met. Across the street is the Chicago Cultural Center. It is free. If you're ever in Chicago and you want to do something museum-y. Did you feel when we passed the alleyway that now we're like in the lake zone because there's no buildings between us and Yeah, it's a bit chilly. a bit colder just in that one block walk. Yeah. And there she blows. The tree used to be at the Chris Kindle Market. Remember? Yeah, that was pure and utter chaos. I mean, Chris Kindle Market downtown is pure chaos. But that was just insane. Yeah. The Zamboni is going for the ice skaters. Wow. That's one tree. It's like Chicago flag colors. I think that's what they're doing. Because the Chicago stars on top. We finally get to the tree. And this is what happens. Two sleeping angels. He's been out since we got her. Since we got her car. And James is legit. He's wearing a Chris Kindle Market hat. I don't think we said this. Um, it took a long time for us to find parking. It must, it was, must be busy in the city before, like, so we because we're gonna get like a, a bad part of the polar polar bomb bomb plunge or whatever they're calling <laughs> the crazy storm that's coming our way. Like, that's all starting Thursday evening for us. So I feel like today and tomorrow people are like, we have to do our, our Christmas things yeah. in the city. Yeah, we thought we were being smart coming here on a Tuesday. But it was so busy, it took us like 50 minutes to get from our apartment, which is just a few miles more, Yeah. to a parking spot. Yeah, the parking was bad, but the actual Christina market wasn't. Yeah, no, it wasn't. It was great. James while we were trying to find a car. <laughs> we're in the car. Both boys are, are awake. We got this water from um, Walgreens and I genuinely believe that it was from Iceland. Please take a lesson from me and learn that this is from Deerfield, Illinois. <laughs> you think that's funny? It's from Deerfield, not Iceland. Probably the most like opposite of Iceland you could get. Hi. And I feel, I feel sorry for James because he woke up, he went to sleep in the car and he woke up as we were getting into the parking garage. Like, literally just took a nap on the go. Didn't get to enjoy. But hopefully now he'll look at the buildings and the lights. Anything to make my guilty conscience feel better. Two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> wow. He likes it now? Uh -huh. Baby, I have no more treats. I have no more snacks. Oh. Oh. I have nothing else. So Teddy is down. I think that Jamesy falling asleep so late and the stroller kind of threw him off. Um, so Peter's still in his room with him. Um, I just got today's vlog up because we prioritize going out. And now I'm going to hop right into editing today's vlog. Evie is my edit buddy. Wow, Peter cleaned up all the toys. Nice fresh start for the mess that is bound to be made tomorrow. Slight. Two tired parents. Peter mentioned french fries earlier, and now I can't get them out of my mind, but it's too late. I was like, <laughs> too late for french fries. I'll let you know tomorrow if that's the truth or not. It's good to be home. Good to be home. We know what our goals are. 
We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>